Well, as the rain moves out, we can clearly see the damage left behind across Southern California. And now some roads used by commuters are impassable this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Jaisha Patel is live in the Hollywood Hills with details on the Mulholland enclosure. Jaisha. Good morning, John. Rachel and Leslie. You can probably see that closure behind me. We don't know how long that's going to be in place, but the cleanup is definitely going to be extensive here because of all of that mud. Now, just to put things into perspective for everyone watching right now, yesterday as of 5 p.m., more than 560 mudslides were reported. And I want you to take a look at some of this video. We have Air 7 HD was overhead yesterday. You can see all of that mud covering portions of the road, and you can even see a section where the land and beneath the road completely collapsed. The mudslides were reported in the middle of the day yesterday, which forced a closure of Mulholland between Skyline and Beaumont Drives. Southbound Coldwater Canyon Drive was also closed. The good news is there are no reports of any injuries so far, and building and safety inspectors will assess homes, and the Bureau of Engineering team has begun design work to reconstruct affected hillsides. The mudslides, though, have impacted homes across L.A., and one man in Hacienda Heights says, a mudslide came through his bedroom. We kind of prepared because we had two retainer walls. However, they were not sufficient to hold Mother Nature. We're blessed that we're okay, the family is fine, and uh, we are looking forward to fix the house. Barron's house was yellow tagged, which means you can only go inside to get your belongings. As of yesterday, 31 buildings have been yellow tagged and 15 buildings have been red tagged, which means no one can enter the building anymore. And as of 4 p.m. yesterday, the Department of Public Works reported nearly 530 fallen trees and branches and more than 1,000 potholes. On the flip side, more than 7 billion gallons of storm water has been captured in L.A. since the beginning of the atmospheric storm on Sunday, and that's enough to serve more than 86,000 homes. We are expecting an update from the city from the city today about their response to the damage and the storms. We're expecting that update mid morning today. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC 7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC 7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.